What's up guys, it's you say specialist and Battlefield 2042 just wrapped up yet another lackluster live service event, this time in the form of the Lunar New Year's event titled the Year of the Dragon. Now I was honestly excited for this one, the cosmetics looked interesting, the aesthetic was quite a bit sexier than something like Christmas, and it was revealed on short notice to help us hold over until Season 7 as Season 6 continues to drag on and on. However, Year of the Dragon was really not good. While the event was revealed on short notice and was just a snack to keep fans' attention for a couple extra weeks, the rewards, game modes, and focus on paid cosmetics really killed players' excitement. Battlefield on Twitter, as well as Battlefield Bulletin, revealed a few cosmetics ahead of time which seemed to get our attention. The PBX, Super 500, and Dozer cosmetics all looked great, and as Year of the Dragon was a two-week event, I personally assumed that these were just a taste of what was to come. But I was wrong. Only the Super 500 as well as a Weapon Charm were earnable, while Dozer and the PBX were only within a paid bundle. A paid bundle which also included the free items, meaning you didn't even have to engage in gameplay at all, as you could just crack open your wallet instead. While that was already rough, the only other earnable items you could get were an XP booster and Battle Pass tier skips. Things that are only useful if you give Battlefield more money for a Battle Pass next season. Perks that don't even matter this season, as pretty much everyone finished their Battle Pass weeks ago. So over the course of two weeks, players could earn a sidearm cosmetic, weapon charm, and unusable perks. Meanwhile, the only primary skin and specialist cosmetic were put into a paid bundle, all of which ended up making the entire idea of Year of the Dragon feel more like DICE taking advantage of a bad content cycle instead of throwing the fans a bone as we await the next season. And this wasn't lost on the fans, as even Battlefield-affiliated accounts like Battlefield Bulletin expressed concern over the worsening of these events and their lackluster offerings. Aside from the lacking rewards, the community was also heavily divided on the modes included, which started with Rush XL, a 128-player version of Rush, and then was supposed to rotate into Breakthrough Chaos, but because DICE still doesn't have the technology, they had to keep Rush XL in rotation because Breakthrough was somehow crashing their servers. And speaking of servers, whether it's a sign of how dog shit Rush XL is, or how bad Battlefield servers are, my games were almost always about 30% AI, which was wreaking havoc when one team would have almost half AI and then get steamrolled. Half the f***ing team is just AI standing the f*** around in the back of the, uh, in the back of the objective. Why? Why? Ultimately, what could have been a fun, easy slam dunk for DICE ended up being a total shit show. A two-week technical debacle that glorified DICE's greediness, their inability to host fun modes, and how they take every chance they can to swindle the player into spending more money as they continue to delay and delay their upcoming content. All the while, the players are greeted with a survey asking quote-unquote if buying limited time cosmetics is what excites us about playing Battlefield. While 2042 has had some big wins over the past couple of years, the last few weeks between Year of the Dragon, server issues, the VHX nerf, and their survey has proven to once again show a side of dice that fans are convinced will never get fixed. But guys, drop those comments below, and for everything else Battlefield, subscribe, stay tuned, and as always, thank you guys for watching.